Hi, I'm Daniel Watt from Yamaha and I'm here again with the Tyros Tipsters just to talk a little bit about quick and easy recording. Now quite often you might be playing away and you think, oh, I'd love to just make a recording of that. Now why would you want to make a recording? Well one of the things that a lot of my pupils say when I'm teaching is, oh I played it perfect when you weren't here and the minute you come here I always go to pieces and I get all nervous. I play it perfectly on my own and I always say, well how do I know? You've got to prove that to me. You've got to prove that you've played it perfectly at home. Well, that's where recording comes in. And it is really, really easy on the Tyros 5. So what I've done quickly on here, just so far, is we've just got a little cool jazz club. And I'm just going to play with the one-touch settings. So I'm going to play with these four guys here and just play a little bit of a song and quickly record. So how do we do this? I'm going to use the audio recording facility, which is here. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is press the record and the stop together. And what that's doing is giving me a blank recording. It's almost like the old days when we recorded onto cassette. It's like putting a blank cassette in. OK, so on the screen we can see that we've got S Audio 001. So that's meaning it's a, it's a brand new file. So I set, at this point I set the whole keyboard up how I want it to be. And at that point, so synchro start, I'm ready to play. OK, so all I do is I press the play, pause button and play. If this is in my way, I can press the exit button. So I've gone back to the main screen. Press the stop button on the audio recorder. Screen says, please wait. And at that point, that's it. We've now just made a recording. So how do we play that recording back? Again, we go back up to the audio recorder and we press the play pause button. And we can hear that file back. <laughs> Oh, I made a mistake there, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so that's our audio recording. That's it all made and all done. So do we need to do anything else with it? Well, it would be nice if we named it, because at the moment it's still got the name of S Audio underscore 001, which doesn't really make a lot of sense to us at the moment. In fact, if you look on the screen, you can see it's just here. And in actual fact, when we play it back, we've actually got a counter here so we can see whereabouts in the song we are. And we can stop it, we can rewind it, we can fast forward it. There's one button here called Mode. If we press the mode button, we've now got the audio recorder back on the screen, as you can see. And we've got this button called File. When I press the A button, it now shows me the recording that we've just made. It's highlighted and ringed round in red. And we can actually name it. And you can see there's a few that I've already named. In the best Blue Peter mode, here's a few we did earlier. So let's press Name, OK, and it's Blue Moon. So we just Hold down the D, delete button. Oops, went wrong. Just go back one. Space. That's actually one of the most common questions I get asked. How do I put a space in? So let's put the E in. I want to put a space. It's this one. And just wait until it moves across. And now we've put a space in. It's one of the most common asked questions. How do I put a space in anything? And there you go. There's Blue Moon. So I can select that. Instantly goes into the audio recorder. And press play. So I've got a few here. I can press Besame Mucho and play. And away it will go with Besame Mucho.
It's also important to note at this particular point in time, because it's an audio recording, it doesn't go through the swell pedal. So I've got a swell pedal attached on the floor, and you'll notice that everything else, the whole keyboard, goes through the swell. But the audio file that we've just recorded doesn't. So it doesn't matter where I put my swell pedal, as you can see, that's making no effect at all to the audio recording. The reason why that's being done is that the audio files don't go through the swell pedal because when they're recorded, they're recorded with that movement in the swell pedal. So any changes that you move on your swell pedal when you're doing an audio recording will go into that recording. That's why it then can't affect it later because you'd end up having two lots of expression on a recording and it wouldn't work. So that's why we've done that. That's just a little bit about how you can quickly and easily record yourself. I hope that's been of use to you, and bye for now.